What's going on champs and champets? It's FireMonkey here and I had to look over at my other monitor just to make sure that this video actually started recording because for some reason right when I started recording it last time it froze it was like and that was it right I just got paused on that screen there was nothing else to do there and I kind of did a whole entire video only to be like wait a minute. Something's not right here. But now that we're finally here, we can talk about what's been going on with Fortnite in the past day regarding all of the new wild changes and everything else. Now, regarding current news or anything, there isn't really too much interesting topics to really talk about, right? It's just been a pretty normal day in Fortnite, but this time around, we actually had something that was kind of like older news that you can't get anymore that got added to the game's files after months now, finally being rewarded out to the community. So we'll be talking about that and weekly challenges. So firstly, if you guys remember the community battle events that are for Germany and these other places, you may know that there was always these creative maps you'd be able to go into, vote for a certain creator, and then just by playing on that map you'd be able to actually get a free exclusive spray later in the game based on whichever creator won that event. Well, the first community battles event that's happened in a long time, now this was the one before we got the Giga Chad spray winner one that ended up getting, you know, cancelled or whatever, and how there will be a new spray made for Heistani, which was the creator who won that one, we had a different battle which had a different creator that won it and that reward has officially been granted to people who participated in that challenge event earlier today which is the I'm probably gonna butcher it here the Shaharuka spray right I might have butchered it I might have not have maybe you know it sounded kind of good to me I think I sounded properly but who knows but this spray was properly rewarded people earlier today and a lot of people have been talking about it what is going on with my back bling I'm not for sure but this is the spray that is basically a super exclusive spray due to it only being for a German community battle event and it's something that you know you won't be able to get in the future it's one of those things where you had to have known about it before and you had to have played in that battle in order to actually been able to you know be eligible for this free reward and if you didn't play back then and if you didn't even know about this event back then you'll never be able to obtain it or at least right now or at least in the near future they have no plans to bring it back through another challenge or anything like that now, when it comes to, you know, the whole entire spray in general, there's been a lot of discussion over, you know, like, why it was like, it's kind of weird, right? The discussion on Twitter has basically been over, you know, the design of the spray doesn't really match the Fortnite aesthetic, because, you know, if you look at a spray like this, and then we go ahead and put a spray to, like, the left side of it, I don't know, I'll just pick a random one here, you know, why not, I'll just put Guff here. You can see how they always have, like, this unique difference to them, and it feels like with this spray right here, it's like someone's profile picture, you can see, like, the corners and everything, and it just feels like they put a little spray effect on there, and it got cropped out so some people were wondering hey you know why is this the spray we ended up getting or whatever is this what we should have gotten or should Epic Games have done some more you know pizzazz to make it more spray like or anything like it however in my personal opinion I think you know even though you know some people might not like the spray or whatever it definitely is fine the way it is I know that might sound weird to say but the reason I say it's fine the way it is is because it's a creator spray the creator decided to choose how they wanted it to look and everything and Epic Games kept up to that creator's vision making sure that it matched you know what that creator's specifically wanted as their spray in game so in my personal opinion you know sure you know you can be like not the biggest fan of it or whatever you can be one of the people who's like oh you know I don't really mind that I didn't end up actually qualifying for this spray or whatever else but it's still nice to see Epic Games you know living up to some content creator who had won an actual event prizes actual you know design work and living up to the expectations that that person had for it not trying to make anything too crazily unique and keeping it you know as true to the creator's idea as humanly possible at least from what I'm aware of. Now, I don't know why I apparently just spaced out here and couldn't hit the weak spots at all, but that is something to keep in mind, you know? Just like, you know, seeing all the sprays and everything get worked on, pretty nice, and it's pretty nice vibe. Now, other than that, though, the only other thing we really have to talk about for today's YouTube video has to relate to new challenges. We have new Syndicate questline challenges, which are the voice-acted narrative questline stuff, and new Week 4 challenges that are both enabled right now, with the Syndicate challenges being on screen right now. Of course, it once again uses those little arcade machines you find throughout the map where you have to kind of, like, guide a green circle to an X or whatever else, but you know, it's pretty simple. You know, you just kind of got to guide the green circle around, then you eliminate opponents with the kinetic blade, then you survive storm phases while carrying a weapon of epic rarity or higher, which can be a kinetic blade because of the rarity of it, for three storm phases. Once that's done, you just capture a control point, which is actually these flags right here. This right here is a control point, and then, you know, you win another one of the arcade machines and report to Stray or Mizuki. So you have all this stuff going on with the storyline, and you have these all available to you, which is nice to see right it's just nice to see epic games you know releasing more of these quests and making it a situation where it looks like you know the old syndicate voice acted questline stuff is still here you're still able to do it but you're able to also progress the new ones as well and do all those things
things for whatever free rewards you get. And as you can see, the final reward you actually get from doing this questline is a little animated emoticon of Stray. Now, I'm not for sure if I'm going to be able to actually find it here because I don't remember the name off the top of my head, but I'm going to look in the S category for it. Just see, do we have it in here somewhere? Yep, right here, Stray Spectre, which is a animated spray. You can see the little ooh going on behind it, but that is a free reward for doing all of the quests from the current version of Fortnite, or you know, from the current newly released Syndicate questline stuff. Now, it does appear like the older rewards are still available as well, so if you want those, you're still able to get those. In terms of week four challenges, these are all the ones on screen. Now, I do want to mention that the bottom three being gain shield, play matches, and damage players with SMGs are replacement challenges, meaning that they aren't enabled by default and will only be enabled in the future if one of the above challenges have a bug. So for example, if the challenge to open a vault using a vault keycard has a bug or is no longer completable, they'll disable that challenge and replace it with one of the other ones like play three matches. Overall though, the challenges this week are pretty simple. You know, there's nothing too crazy about it and some of them kind of tie into each other, such as eliminating a high card boss and then opening a vault using a keycard. So it is something that I feel is going to be pretty easy for us as a community to kind of get done and you can do it in one to two matches real quickly. Now, regarding where you can bounce off a tire, a lily pad, and an air vent, I really think that is advertising, you know, the newer section of the map, you know, the bottom right area, because after we eliminate this guy, if my aim decides to improve a little bit here, which it looks like it kind of, kind of is, okay, hold on, there we go, but it kind of is advertising the newer part of the map, because in order to do all those things, which of course is a tire, a lily pad, and an air vent, you would go to Mega City for the air vent, then you would go, actually, you know what, no, you would do it like this, you go to Steamy Springs for the lily pad, you would go to Mega city for the air vent and then you would go up here for the tires because the little like railings on the side and everything have just a row of tires next to it that count when you bounce off of those for the challenge so overall you know the challenges are pretty simple this time around and it really just seems like this week is kind of more getting used to the newer side of the Fortnite map and just introducing ourselves to more and more mechanics and stuff that you can use as you're messing around on the Fortnite island but with that said you know it's been a pretty slow day for Fortnite today you know I've just been playing with some people you know some people I met over on Twitter and whatnot talking about everything going on with the Fortnite update and I thought I'd keep you guys in the loop with all the new challenges and everything the free rewards and of course up oh, that's not the spray I was looking for that is just the you know emoticon but of course you know the stuff going on here such as uh, rewards that you are not able to actually get but were granted to players earlier today because you might actually see someone in game using the spray or something and you might be like huh how am I supposed to obtain this right it's like is, did they hack this in is this someone's profile picture that they like downloaded and put in the Fortnite files or something and it's like no it was a actual free reward from a community event that is no longer available for people that happened like I want to say like a year ago at this point right it's been a long time since that happened and it's just someone's spray that they managed to get in the game which is pretty cool so with that said hope you champs and champions enjoyed today's YouTube video and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another upload peace out